Hello everybody, welcome to my course. I will try to help you create your first map using a combination of software and skills. I have been studying GIS for around 6 years. I graduated my cartography bachelor degree and a geomatics master degree. I made a transportation map that was distributed in over 10,000 copies. I created some web GIS projects and have some commercial experience working on GIS data validation. I am also studying for a PhD. First of all, GIS stands for Geographical Information Systems, as you perhaps know. It is represented by multiple software options that help you introduce, store, manage, analyze and represent geographical data. By geographical data, I mean any kind of data that has a spatial coordinate. It is data about an object situated in the three-dimensional space of the planet Earth. The most common output of the GIS system is a map. However, you can output data under different formats, including tabular or statistical diagrams. What does introduce mean? It means that GIS software allows you to create new data about some geographical features. For example, you can digitize new rivers close to your home. This means drawing on top of satellite image or a previous map the line that would represent the river at a particular scale of detail. To digitize simply means to draw in GIS. There will be a video in which I will show you exactly how and what that means. The most important thing about GIS is the data it uses. Without the spatial dimension of the data, GIS would simply be like any other software that uses tabular data. And by tabular I mean any data that can be represented in an Excel spreadsheet. We will open Excel spreadsheets and see how we can make the data have a spatial dimension. GIS is able to store the data in a number of different formats. From shapefiles, KML, DWG and database specific formats and many others. Storing the data in a database is safer and better, however at the beginning we will store them in the less safe format called shapefile. I will teach you how you can create these types of files in QGIS. It is also possible to analyze the data by applying various functions to it in GIS. The management aspect of GIS allows you to create new data and modify or delete previously created data. Finally, it is possible to represent the data on a map. And I will show you how to combine a GIS software with a free graphic design software called Inkscape to make an enhanced map. Hopefully you can create a great map that you can get money for. GIS can be used in a wide range of domains, from commercial fields like marketing, for example showing the position of a restaurant in a city on a small presentation leaflet, or making a web GIS app that shows the location of multiple restaurants in your area, military, for example showing the position of your military units, emergency response units, showing the locations of hospitals, emergency units, the location and different types of crimes within a city. It can also be used for urban planning, agriculture, risk maps, transport routes. One of the best known use of a GIS is Google Maps. It uses a combination of images and vector layers to help you navigate through a city interactively. I will leave some books in the description box below. Please use them to find out more about GIS.